what's up guys so before going through the video i just want to show you the perks that i use on my vehicles so maybe they can help you if you are in trouble doing the gypsy challenge right now i'm mostly using the green perks to get the bonus speed and two blue perks the one where you can switch to the charge boost which is much more effective than the boost bar on the drift challenge and well, on most situations as for the other book, you can choose between the quick charge one or the upgrade boost if your car already has the charge boost from the ultimate you can keep those both as for vehicles most of my playthrough was using power pro followed by fusion booster as my drift car and I had one event where I drove the GT Scorcher and one where I tried the VW Drag Bus for a challenge. So let's go through some Drift 101 here. Through my playthrough, I gathered two ways that you can tackle the Drift Challenge. The first one is a slow and steady approach where you try to hold your Drift for longer. As for the most effective way to do it is trying to boost while you drift so you can get the speed bonus on your points. It's very much a high risk high reward situation and it's up to you to know if you can hold the car while you're boosting to get those extra points. For the boost strategy I recommend using on the middle to the end of the drift as it's less likely for you to lose control and hit a wall while you're using it. Another thing here is to avoid the black curbs inside the corners. They don't come so hard your drift points, so try to avoid staying on them for too long. The magnets work a little bit different this time around, they give you a lot of grip. So the best way to drift on them is to boost before the corner, which is something that I wouldn't recommend otherwise. On the off-road section, try to avoid cutting the track. If you try to drift outside of the cones, you won't be able to get the point for your drift. So just a heads up on that. One last thing, side shuttles are your friend, remember to use them to avoid contact on walls or to just reposition yourself. And that's about it, the drift challenges on Extreme Drift are probably one of the most fun things on this game right now, so I hope you enjoyed the video.